Good morning, grade sixes, and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud and to your English lessons. I hope you enjoyed the lesson yesterday on summarizing. And so we're going to jump straight into our lesson overview. We're going to look at the word for the day and then summarizing techniques. We are going to recap yesterday's lesson on main ideas. So if you haven't watched that one, please watch that one first because our lesson today is on a second type of um, tool or technique that you can use called SWBST. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Right, so our word for the day is fardel. Now fardel means a bundle or burden. And the origin is, so where it comes from, is classic literature like Hamlet, which you'll do later on in high school. So to use it in a sentence, we could say what a fardel to be stuck at home, especially during this lockdown. Or an alternative is to say South Africa has borne this lockdown fardel with good adherence to our president's instruction. So just one way, that, one or two ways that you can use it. I do hope that you will try and use these different ones in your own um, speech, in the way you talk every day. Not a bad idea. Right, so just to recap, we did um, summarizing as in um, sum, shorter than the text, use your own words and main ideas only. And we looked at these three things in detail to help you learn to determine essential or main ideas and to consolidate the important details that support them. So really focusing on main ideas. And then we wanted you to focus on keywords and phrases that are in the text that are worth noticing and remembering. And what summarizing also would have done in our last lesson is teach you to take large amounts of text and to put it into a smaller paragraph and obviously in your own words. So um, just to remind you, we looked at repeated words and not words like the, a, uh, and we're looking at words that are repeated often. Um, in this situation, I just used a silly example like word, 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 used, used, times, times. Um, and then we look at key ideas that you notice from the repeated words. Are they important, those ideas? And then did where to start. So number one, you needed to read the text. Number two, don't let big words scare you. And number three, ask what is this text about? And so your answer should have been a complete sentence or two. It should have covered the main points and key ideas. It should be in your own words and it shouldn't just be a word or two. That's not a summary. So I've just got a little video here um, to help you remember the main idea. So watch it and I hope it's of value.
Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let's move on to our next um, lesson for today. So we're talking about SWBST, and what that stands for is on the left here, someone wanted but so then. So another technique, you can even use your hand, someone wanted but so then. And what the someone is, you need to describe the main character. So this summary is a little bit um, more than what we did in our last lesson. So you're not just looking for the main idea, you're trying to summarize a whole text into a little paragraph. So you would tell us about what the text is about, what's the main character in the text, not what, who's the main character in the text, describe them. What do they want? What do they want to do? What do they want to accomplish? But obviously there was some kind of obstacle or conflict. And so what happened? How did the um, character deal with that obstacle or overcome it? And then what is the outcome of the story? So wrapping it all up. So obviously this doesn't mean much unless we put it into practice. So let's take a look at this biography. It's the biography of Marie Antoinette. So I'm going to read it and then we're going to look at it and we're going to highlight some important words. So I'm going to do this with you. Marie Antoinette, born in 1755, was the beautiful daughter of the Emperor of Austria. Austria and France had been fighting for many years and it was hoped that her marriage to the future King of France would bring peace and stability to Europe. In 1770, the Emperor sent his daughter to France, where she immediately married Louis, the King's grandson. He was a shy, awkward young man and Maria was only 14 and didn't speak French very well. If the French people were to accept her, she had to become more French. And so they changed her name to Marie Antoinette. Four years later, the king died and Louis and Marie Antoinette became the king and queen of France. Looking at our third paragraph. Although there was great poverty in France, the king's court was lavish and expensive. Many of the people became very angry with the rich and powerful people because they didn't care about their problems. Marie Antoinette enjoyed wearing beautiful clothes and jewelry and didn't know that the people were hungry. Later, she realized there was a problem and she tried to save money, but the people didn't know this. It is believed that when she was told that the people didn't have enough money to buy bread, her reply was, let them eat cake. She probably didn't make this comment, but everybody thought she did. In 1785, she was blamed for what was known as the diamond necklace affair. A trickster called Jean de la Motte persuaded Cardinal de Rohan that Marie Antoinette wanted him to buy her a necklace with 647 diamonds. When the situation got dangerous, Marie Antoinette was packed and ready to flee, but Louis wouldn't go, so she stayed at Versailles with him. There were rumours that the palace was hoarding all the grain and the hungry people marched to Versailles and attacked the palace. Later, when the king and queen tried to escape, they were captured and taken to Paris. Marie Antoinette appealed to Prussia and Austria for help and they declared war on France. This made matters worse for them and led to their arrest for treason. Louis was guillotined in January 1793 and Marie Antoinette in October of the same year. So what I want you to do at this stage, um, we are going to do it together, but I want you to pause, I want you to read that biography again <clears throat> excuse me, and take a look at some of the words that are repeated and just write down those keywords. So jot them down, for example, um, her name, Marie Antoinette, comes up quite a few times, so you could have written that down. What other words are repeated? Because they're going to help us create the summary about someone wanted but so then. So pause the video for me and just read it again just to get the story cemented in your mind or the biography. And when you come back, we'll go through it. Okay, so now we're going to look at it together. So if we look through um, each of the paragraphs, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are some of the key words that you might notice. So we've got Maria and Marie Antoinette. We've got Austria. So do you see there in the beginning, it says there Austria and France. Later on, it talks about France or, France or the French again. Here later on, it also talks about Austria. Prussia is brought up once. Versailles is brought up twice. There's a mentioning about the king and the queen. 
It's also about um, the hungry people. So I said something about um, poverty and hungry people. So you, and jewelry, remember there was something mentioned about jewelry, that she liked jewelry, and then there was something about a necklace. So those are some of the key words. And then we also have um, some of the themes that are coming up is the peace, um, stability, um, her becoming more French. So if I had to highlight some of the things that come up again and again, those are some of the words I would have highlighted before I actually start my summary. And then we need to go in and look using our SW. Um, someone wanted, but so then. We need to start using that technique. Right, so I would then, if I was in class with you, I'd say, right, let's do this together. Who is the someone we're talking about? Okay, so we're obviously talking about, yes, Maria Antoinette, or she became known as Marie Antoinette. That is the person we're talking about. You could give a few more um, details in terms of just quick notes. So we could talk about that she was to be married to Louis, who was the grandson of the king, to bring peace and stability to France. So that was a reason for her being married. Okay, she was only 14 when she got married and she didn't speak French very well, and that's how they changed her name from Maria to Marie to make her more French. So, just a quick little overview of who she is. I want you to stop now and pause the video and you go through what do you think was wanted, but so then. So, if you're not sure, I'm just going to go back one or two slides to there. So we've described the main character. Now, what does the character want to do or accomplish? And think about what's happened with the people in um, the area. So not in the palace, the people outside the palace. But what happened? So how did we deal with the conflict or the obstacle? And what is the outcome of the story? So just pause the video for me. And I want you to be looking at this biography and telling me the someone wanted but so then so just jot some keywords you don't need to write a whole thing that's not what it's about it's about the keywords write down a bit about the character what did she want but then there was a conflict so what happened and then what is the outcome of the story so try to do that but obviously i will come back and we'll go through it together so don't panic all right so let's do it together let's see what you came up with so if we're looking at our someone we're talking about Marie, who was Maria Antoinette from Austria. She married Louis at the age of 14. She was the Queen of France. You could have added in there, like I said, that she, the marriage was to bring peace and stability with Europe, in, within Europe. Okay, what was wanted? So, she wanted to help the poor. She also wanted to dress nicely and obviously she loved beautiful things. So there's two things that she actually wanted. What happened? Now he has the conflict. The poor were hungry, the palace was rich. So the perception was that the palace was hiding grain. There was the whole um, thing about the diamond necklace, um, which was obviously not, not true. But the main thing, whether it's about her having all this luxury, so you don't even need to be that specific about the necklace. That was an interesting part. Is And we spoke about that yesterday. Um, um, essential versus interesting. So... But you've got the poor that are really poor and hungry. And here it looks like she's just enjoying life. She's got the, this beautiful jewelry, beautiful clothes. She's unaware. So the people got angry. So what happened next? Okay, the queen then realized, when she realized that they were poor and hungry, she tried to save money. The problem is no one knew about it. So even though she was trying to make it right, you know, if nobody knows about it, then what's the point? So then what happened? So King Louis and um, Marie tried to flee. The people attacked the palace. The Queen asked Austria and Prussia for help. So war was declared. They were arrested for tre treason and then beheaded or guillotined. So um, I'm not sure how many of you know. So if you're worried about that word guillotined, you obviously want to write things in your own word. But if you use that, obviously you'd, you'd not get as... Um, great a summary as if you did it on your own but if you didn't know what the word meant you could have used it but i often think and i don't know if you know those guillotines i don't know if your teach some of your teachers have it it's um 
a, d a device that you've got in, in the classrooms or in the photo set room where if you want to take some worksheets and you want to guillotine them or cut them to fit so that you don't have to sit there cutting out each worksheet you can take um, up to about 10 and you can actually cut the worksheet using a guillotine so it chops off um, little parts of a worksheet okay so what I would do now in class is I would say let's now take these keywords and things that we've highlighted and create our own summary our own paragraph about the, bi the biography of Marie Antoinette so just to give you a verbal one I'm going to just do it with you I then want you to try and write your own one um, before I show you um, an example of one so I would say Marie Antoinette who was from Austria um, got married to King Louis at the age of 14 and became the Queen of France. This was to bring stability and peace between um, other countries across Europe. Marie Antoinette wanted to help the poor, but she also wanted to enjoy her life of luxury. But the poor were very, very hungry. And on the opposite side, the palace was very wealthy. Um, the perception was that the palace was hiding grain. There was also um, some kind of understanding that the queen was enjoying um, beautiful jewelry and um, this contrasted the hungry people and the rich palace. So people got angry. The queen, when she heard how the people were struggling, she then tried to save money, but no one was aware of this. So then they attacked the palace. The king and queen wanted to flee. Unfortunately, they were captured and um, taken to Versailles. Austria and Prussia were asked to come and help them by the queen. And so war was declared. This led to treason because Queen Maria shouldn't have asked for help from her own country. She was now um, a French citizen and she was going back to her past and asking her previous country for help and so King Louis was guillotined um, I would have said beheaded instead of the word guillotine because I know what it means King Louis was beheaded in 1793 along with um, Queen Marie in the October obviously that's just a verbal one I was just trying it you must remember that that's the first draft so when you're writing a summary can you see I was going through it, I was mentioning things, but it was a little bit clumsy. I would write that, then I'd come back, I'd look at it again, I'd write some more, I'd take some things out that I don't think are absolutely important. They're interesting, but they're not important. And then I'd come up with a final um, draft that I think I would be happy with. So I want you to pause the video at this stage, and I want you to just give it your best shot. Just a first draft it doesn't have to be perfect. So now that you've done that, I want you to look at this rubric. And a rubric, you know, is meant to just tell you what you are aiming for. So if I had to give some points or allocation out of one to five, if your summary of the biography is excellently worded, so read it out loud, is it worded really well? Key phrases and words have been included, but you've done it masterfully. And the summary is well written in your own words. That would give you a five. If it was a four, your summary shows proficiency. So you did it really well. Most keywords have been included with only slight improvement needed. And your summary is well written in your learner's own words. Remember when we're reading this, we're also looking at your use of capital letters, full stops, and obviously spelling. If it was a three, it's satisfactory. In other words, it's not bad. Some keywords have been included but more variety is required. So you needed to add a little bit more and further practice will improve your overall result. Summary, summarizing is a technique that requires practice. So don't um, get yourself into a state and think, oh, no, I'm not getting it right. It takes a while to practice. And remember, there are different ways of doing that. Um, if you, it was a two or a one, you've tried to write a summary, but you needed a lot of help from a teacher. So, for example, if we were in the class, I'd come around and say, right, try this. You've put this in. It's not necessary. Let's look at it again. So you're still developing the skill of writing a summary and finding the main ideas. But can I just tell you, that's exactly what school is about. Yes, there's some children who get it straight away. That's amazing. But there are things that they don't get sometimes. 
that you are unaware of. So just remember this is your own journey. Try and write a summary. Look at the summary you've just written. How do you feel about it? If you think you're a three, do it again. There's nothing wrong with doing something again. Remember, perfect practice makes perfect. So not just practice. You can practice the same thing again and write the same summary. It's not going to change. You need to improve on it for yourself. And I think this time during lockdown is so important because you don't have a teacher there guiding you and helping you through this. So you've got to look at it and be critical and think, how can I improve upon this one? So let's take a look at this next example. Okay, so we've got a biography. Marie Antoinette was from Austria but married Louis and became the Queen of France. Living in the palace <coughs> with all her luxuries, she didn't realize that the French people were poor and starving. When she found this out, she tried to save money. The French people thought they were hiding food in the palace and so carried out an attack. Marie Antoinette and Louis tried to escape and even asked for help. However, they were arrested for treason and beheaded in 1793. Not a bad one. Let's take a look at it. Did it tell us about the main character? Marie Antoinette was from Austria. Yes. What tell us more about it? about her. She married Louis and became the Queen of France. It's interesting that they made her, her name more French, but it's not really essential in this. We're talking about her straight away from the start, Marie Antoinette. It's important for us to know that she's from Austria and now she's become the Queen of France. Living in the palace with all her luxuries, she didn't realize that the French people were poor and starving. Yes. Okay. So when she realized this, she tried to save money. Okay. We could have maybe put in there that the people weren't aware of it and they thought they were hiding food in the palace so they carried out an attack. Marie Antoinette and Louis tried to escape and even asked for help. I think it would have been important there to, to say who they asked for help from. So Austria and Prussia because Austria is her birth country and so that would have been the reason for the treason. And then beheaded, whether they were beheaded together or separate, um, I suppose it could be... Um, important however they were both beheaded in the same year 1793 and i use the word beheaded instead of guillotine so i hope you're getting um an idea of how to do a summary could this one be revised and um rewritten absolutely um just to make sure that you've got the main idea and yes would have uh, i've been interesting to mention the jewelry yes but i don't think it was essential in terms of um the, the summary of, or the overview of what we're talking about. Okay, so grade sixes, we've come to the end. I do have a little video for us to look at, um, just about writing and using someone wanted but so then. Remember at the end, there will be an activity for you to do. And don't forget, if you have any questions about today's lesson, please send me an email at grade six at worksheetcloud.com. And so to end off, here we go. If you need to summarize what you have read, but you don't have time to repeat again, use five. Someone wanted, but so then, and you begin to got a summary. Summarize what you read, but you don't have time to rewrite again. Summarize what you 
you've enjoyed our lesson for today thanks for watching grade sixes and um, our next lesson I'm thinking of doing a reading lesson I'm thinking of choosing a novel and just having a session where we can just sit together and read and obviously along the way I'll be talking about certain things so do join me tomorrow have a wonderful day guys remember same time same place bye guys